Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead. Please know however time is good. So for you, this actually could resonate past, present, or future if it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright, for the collective, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Under the deck here we do have the Nine of Swords. I'm honestly feeling like there is a marriage involved, okay, 1000% for whoever this resonates for, somebody is in a, in a committed relationship where they actually do have children, okay, um, if that is not your story, this is probably not the reading for you, please check the timeless playlist in the description box below or the videos for your other placements, moon rising Venus signs, I feel like this has been a marriage that these two people have been trying to make work for quite a long time. I feel like they have specifically held on to this because there are children involved. However, I feel like someone has been unfaithful. So let's start. Nine of Wands here. Yeah, it's like I don't. And again, whoever's perspective this is, I'm honestly getting cross-watcher energy. So some of you, this could be your perspective in your marriage. It could be your person's perspective in their situation or even the karmic's perspective. But honestly, it's like I don't want to give up. I don't want to lose this. It's like somebody who's like refusing to let it go. Nine of Wands. It's like it has not been easy. It has been incredibly difficult. There's been a lot of pain here. It's like, there's there's been some pretty bad days, I feel. Um, good times, bad times, a lot of bad times, I feel. It's, um, I'm getting a bit emotional, too. It's like, I don't want to let this go. I want to keep fighting for this, but this person doesn't make it easy. They've hurt me time and time again. And with this Ten of Cups energy, I think at one point these two people may actually be very happy. There was There was potential for that. This is a long-term commitment, and there is still feelings here. Those feelings are not gone. It's it's still very much there. However, I feel like there's somebody here who was exploring the other options, or they began to do that. For some of you, again, this is not for all of you. This is general. Please take what resonates. Leave what does not, cannot stress that enough, but for a couple of you, I feel like this third party somehow knows you as a couple or it's like a, either either a relative, a friend, or somebody who like knows that you guys. Um, I get like a community person that you guys know. It's like you were happy at one point and so that's why this person doesn't want to give up on this. And what we see here with the Six of Cups is like there's history here. And like I said, at one point there there was love and romance and playfulness. But the Six of Cups also represents children. And I feel like that's kind of the deciding factor here for you both trying so hard to make this work. Or again, I'm reading it in this perspective, but you can flip it or and apply it however to your own situation, okay? Um but it's like you're really trying to make it work for the children because there's 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 innocence here that you're trying to protect. You don't want them to hurt or see this. But there has been deception here. And it's not been easy. I do see things being very difficult. So it's like you're going to keep making this work. But I honestly feel like it's been kind of one-sided. Because there's been only one person truly making an effort in this connection. In this situation. You have pentacles. I honestly feel like. 
I feel like this one person kind of wants to let this connection go and the other person does not. And with this Eight of Pentacles energy, I'm feeling like this has been something that's been dragged out for potentially years. And I feel like, like I said, there's been ups and downs, highs, lows, good, bad. Like there's been, there's been pleasant times, but there's also been a lot of really difficult times. And someone's betrayal, I think, has made that everything even more complicated. Now, the energies that we have here strongly... We do have a lot of fire energy here. We have water. We have earth. We have a little bit of everything. But predominantly we have Taurus, Gemini, Libra, and then Aries. And I'm going to be really honest. I feel like whatever this person, the person who wants to leave, the person who hasn't been trying to put in the same amount of effort, I honestly feel like they know deep down that if they were to truly walk away that they would regret it or they fear that they would regret it they would not be able to overcome that like there'd be no saving it at that point like they after they've messed up there's no there's no turning back it is what it is what's done is done finalization and their fear is that but with this Hierophant energy I do see potential that this relationship actually can be healed I feel like there's a lot that's been learned in this situation and I, I'm honestly getting really split cross watcher energy I feel like some of you are the wife or the partner and some of you are the other person I feel like potentially this person, because again, I feel like it's two, two different groups. I feel like if you're the, the spouse in this situation, your relationship actually can be healed. And I think that it, it may have to do with, like, a, I mean, honestly, extensive therapy. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting. For others of you, I honestly feel like. This person may be promising you commitment because maybe you're the person who doesn't want to give up. And there's a potential for that because this can't talk about newness or renewal. Okay? With this Ace of Wands, there is renewed passion, desire, attraction, chemistry, a spark, something, something changing, something shifting here. With this lover's energy, you do see this connection for what it is. That there is a, such a strong connection between you and this person. There's a spiritual bond, something that can't really be severed. There's a reason you kind of keep coming back together, why you can't give up on the relationship. You see this person as your soulmate, your person, your divine counterpart. And you want to be able to achieve these things with this person. You know, this also can't talk about a really sensual energy as well. I mean, this some of you, if you... I don't know, I'm getting, if you haven't had a physical relationship with this person, that may be changing, okay? If, and again, if that's what you want, because again, not all of you are on the same, you always have free will to decide, we're here just to read the energy. I feel like there's, there's a lot of worry and fear that this connection is going to be lost, because there is a legal situation here, and there is somebody who's been kind of childish, but again, I feel like they know deep down that if they fully walk away and they don't give this a try, they don't hold on to this, that they're going to have some regrets, some fears. And I think that you're kind of in this place right now where you've been kind of contemplating, do I leave this alone? Do I walk away from this? You know, my heart is so torn because I have love for this person, but the situation has not been easy. I've been waiting, waiting for things to change, waiting to be with the person that I love, waiting for this person to work just as hard as I am to renew this, to revive this connection. You're asking these questions, but I honestly feel like your hope here is that this person's coming to you, trying to sail to smoother waters. You know, the Six of Swords talks about like maybe things are rocky and at, you know at one point, but you're tr you're trying to get to where things are more peaceful, more balanced, less conflict, smoother. Some of you, this could involve physical travel, hoping this person's going to travel to you. 
And for some of you, I do feel like your fear is that you're going to have to leave leave them behind. And that you, your fear is that you won't be able to fully clear them from your head, from your heart. But to be really honest here, I see a new beginning in love. This is renewal. This is vows exchanged. This is a declaration of love. Expressing how they feel. Unconditional love. You know, and for some of you, that means renewal. Let's pull some additional cards to get some more clarity here. Okay. One more, please. We'll do this deck. Okay. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and remain positive. Spirit is trying to remind you that what you think, you feel, you speak, you say, you wish, you dream, you hope, you pray, and you fear, you manifest it, and you call it into existence. And just because I know someone somewhere is going to be in the comments in the next 20 seconds saying, Excuse me, mystic, so you're trying to say all the bad shit this person done, I manifested it because I was worried. No, no, um, not saying that. But if you still wanted to revive the connection... The possibility is there. If you're, you know, wanting to heal from a situation, okay, let's, let, again, you have free will to ultimately decide. Those of you who are like, you know what, I can't do it anymore. I'm done with it. I'm over this. And your question is, will I ever love again? Will I be able to move on? Will I be able to find commitment? Will I find passion again? Will I find a connection? Will I find new, true love? Because I want to let the past go because I'm tired of being hurt. If you're constantly thinking, I'm never going to heal. I'm just never going to get over this. It's always going to haunt me. It's always going to feel this way. I'm never going to get recognized for how hard I'm working at my job. I'm never going to have the motivation to lose that five pounds I gained at Christmas time. I'm never going to X, Y, Z. I'm, my, my boss is never going to take me seriously. They're never going to give me that promotion. I'm never going to be happy, you know, doing this, that, and the other. I'm never going to, you know, be loved the way that I deserve to be loved. I'm never going to find somebody who treats me right. You're literally setting the tone, the intention that you don't have, you know what I mean? That that positive energy can't come to you because you're literally sitting in that negative mindset. And that's all you're manifesting. And then you don't, then you uninspire that motivation that you could have had for certain things or calling in positivity into your life. It's kind of like, I'm, I'm never going to, you know, I can't, I just can't seem to find, for those people who are single, who have been, you know, waiting for it years, okay, years, to find someone, and they're like, every person I meet, everyone, I don't like any any of them. I'm never gonna find anybody. There's no point in me even trying anymore. I've been I've been praying about it, waiting for somebody to show up on my doorstep. That's not how love works, unfortunately. You know, you manifest it, but you gotta meet them halfway. You have to sit in a positive mindset. You have to open the door. You can't order a pizza and then expect them to just walk into your house. They're gonna ring the doorbell waiting for you to get up and open that door. You have to have the intention and be open for Spirit to bring it to you. Spirit is in remain positive. If you want to fix your relationship, let's say that you're the spouse here, the potential is there. If you want a new relationship with this person, the potential is there, okay? And I honestly feel like there's two very, very different situations here before me. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, you love this person and you don't, you can't, it's like you're afraid that you're not going to ever find love again. And I, and I always tell you, you know, we have many soulmates in life. Soulmates can be friends, they can be family, and they can be lovers. We have many soulmates. Soulmates um, can be long-term. They can be uh, here for a short period of time or just kind of sporadically in and out of our lives as we need them, okay? All right, clear messages and guidance. What is What else needs to be known about the situation, please? Yeah. So we have the lovers, Gemini energy, and the page of Pentacles. So there's true love here. Okay, there's a very deep connection. Things will unfold here. There's going to be positive improvement. There's going to be offers and opportunities extended here. Somebody trying to wipe the slate clean because they deeply love you and they appreciate the love that you give them. They know that they would grieve a loss if they were to truly lose you. And they don't want that. They do want to be with you. This one's trying to fly out as well. They're going to, they, they, they may feel like you are going to want some time to kind of think about the situation because obviously there's been a lot happening here. There's a lot of fears that you have and they'll give you that time, but don't make the mistake of thinking they're not going to fight for this because they are, they want to 
come together with you. They want to build life with you. They ultimately don't want to lose you. And I feel that this person will do what it takes to build that with you. They're going to make offers. They're going to try to revive it. And I feel like some of you do already have children with this person. And I feel that's part of your concern is that they could get disappointed or hurt in the situation. But I think that if this person can truly prove to you that they have separated themselves from whatever the past was, okay, um, they are willing to work on it and make serious efforts. Again, this is for the ones of you that want the connection, the ones of you who do want to try this, who don't want to give up on the relationship, okay? If they're willing to go to therapy or they're willing to talk to somebody about it or they're willing to show you X, Y, and Z, don't be afraid to set your needs with this person. This is what I need from you. I need this, this, and this. If you can do this, this, and this, then I'm willing to hear you out, listen, and see what can happen because there's so much potential for a new beginning in love here. And I feel like there's been a lot of concern and worry, but ultimately I feel like this person's trying to show you, to fight, to show you, listen, I'm not going to lose this with us. I'll do whatever it takes. It's no longer my, my way, you know, I'm letting that go. I'll do what it takes to prove it to you. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you who, who, who kindly send in donations. It is truly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.